Okay. In this video, we will see that how can we um, define the chapter, uh, define the headings and subheadings and their uh, numbering. Okay. So this is just a, a simple method. So what we will do is, uh, whichever office we are using, we have these styles over here. So we can open the styles pane and then click on uh, new style and then give the new style a name. For example, if I say um, chapter, just call it chapter so that we know that this is the chapter heading. So chapter H just for your own uh, consistency add to template automatically update and then the option that we have is we click this is the chapter so what we actually can do is we can just select we can format a chapter title ourselves and then after we select it we go to the one we have just done it is in center as well as it is bold 14 times the roman so we don't do all these things over there it's better that we adjust everything here and then right click update chapter H to match the selection the selection I have just done here so once I click that this becomes so chapter H is now going to look like this so I am I have fixed chapter heading number two I need heading one again I'll just pick another style add a new style call it uh, heading one that's the first level of heading. Please remember that. So uh, one option is that we can set everything up here. I personally am of the view that we do the other way around. That's simpler actually. Click OK. And now we have, where is that one? The other one is heading one. So we'll just select it. It's numbered. I mean, it's already numbered. So we actually should prefer to remove the number. Just select it. And after that, heading one, right click, update heading one to match the selection, this selection. So this is, uh, one second. Okay. So we have done that. Okay. Um, these are the two things. Or the other thing is we can just modify this and it is going to look like the same we just change it over here times the roman 12 bold that's it on the left side no other change click ok this is fixed then we need the last one is going to be the last heading which is the second level of heading the heading 2 we call it heading 2 and again we think that heading 2 is going to be times the roman but not bold but 12 on the left side no changes of color I mean, uh, we have all these things, but they are pretty standard stuff. Don't forget to click add to template and automatically update so that once you make any change, it changes everywhere. That's it. Okay. Oh, I just, all right, all right, all right. Heading 2.1. I'm just uh, assuming that, you know, this is the second one done. Now what happens is I have defined these headings. Now I will actually go up here so that everything is numbered accordingly. So if I want my first headings to carry number one and the level two is 1.1 and level three is like chapter heading to take one, the number, the heading number one, which in our case is going to take 1.1 and the second level of heading is 1.1.1. If you are following an ABC convection, like the first heading one, the second heading will take an A, third will take an, an a Roman one, up to you. So I'm going to follow this. So after I have done that, what I will do is I will go to the respective headings and I would like to put them in the proper level. For example, now this one that I have 1.3, this is the uh, level, the, the, the heading. I'll just click that because it's typed. I'll remove this portion. Okay. Now going to going further. This is number four. I'll just select it. Okay, I'll just select it. Click the heading two again. It's formatted as we go on. Number five is already things also. Now that the font I have decided for the subheading, uh, let me just go over there, select it, and then click on this one, the second one. When I click this, you see, it's not bold, but it still has the number. So that's how you uh, can make changes in the document. And if you, for example, have to change one thing, 
uh, you need to make some modification to any of the headings for example the font size or the color you just have to right click or click on the arrow modify the style and once you modify the style by any means here you just click ok since you have already checked update all automatically update it will update in the whole document so that's the best part about it i hope this helps thank you very much for watching another thing is that when you have added the chapter uh, the the headings we have set up the headings in the earlier part of the video so now for example you don't need uh, number two written over here but you still need 2.1 because only then this will know that this is the main heading and this is the subheading so we can just click uh, the uh, the number itself and we can just change the color of this to white so it will be gone from the view but it will remain there and as you can see the numbers don't change i'll just click on the side it is practically gone do not delete it if you delete it the numbering of the uh, document will be messed up because chapter one will finish at uh, as long as there is a main heading like this one and there is a subheading it will keep going so when the next main heading comes of the next chapter chapter 2 the heading will start from 2 uh, subheadings will start from 2.1 but if you delete this one from here so the headings will actually continue 1.11 and then the next one will be 1.12 so make sure to do this small trick that you can change the color of the chapter number and the headings will remain the same. Another, another very important thing in the document uh, editing is uh, the option of find and replace. Now that option is fantastic in terms of finding the faults in the whole document as well as fixing all of them at once. Now, for example, there is a name of a theory or a name of a person or a name of a model that you continuously use in the document. So its formatting will be an issue. So if you like this to be capitalized every time or has necessary punctuations, just use Control H, Control H or in Mac you have to use Command H. Okay. So once you do that, it shows you on the left side, find and replace. This is the Mac version of it, so if you go to the Windows version, it will actually open something like this. And you click on Replace, so you have these two things. So, uh, the there are a few things you need to understand. First of all, you will tell the system what, does, what do you want to find. For example, I want to find all the words which are uh, like J-O-B, Job and Demand. Okay? And I want to replace this the small d with the capital one so wherever they come i will just want to replace with these before we click replace or find these are the option that actually will help you number one match case when you click match case you first of all find what so if something that matches this case uh, that is when you click this one so you would like anything which has a small d and a big j then you will find this and you have to replace it with these two let's see if it works find next so what do we have it says job demands another one another one another one okay so if i want to replace i'll click replace i have done that so i'm just showing you as an example second is um, another is that if you have one word that's a small one so if you like to replace this with uh, something of your own choice, you can click on find whole words, whole words only. Now there's another thing, for example, if you have a capital of, so in a document, the prepositions never appear in caps, be it in the headings or inside the text. So for instance, we have to find, is there any capital of, uh, of with a capital O? So I'll just replace that with a small one, but I have to also make sure that word searches for word of only, not that OF as a part of some other word. So if I want to ensure that, I click on find whole words only. If I click that, now let's see. Do we have anything like that? You see this? This is the starting of a sentence. I leave it as is. The next one, the same. Okay, 
good. We don't have anything like that. Let's try to find a capital in, uh, capital I and in. So I'll just replace it with smaller one. Let's see if I can find. It's in the beginning of sentence. That's okay. That's okay. This one is also okay. We are going good. All right. So uh, it's it's a good idea to look for all the prepositions like that and replace them. So find and replace is a very useful tool and uh, it can save you hours and hours of work with just a few very sophisticated clicks, but you really need to tell what are you looking for. Now I got this document which has a requirement of putting a double space after every full stop. So what I have to do, I would like to remove these things because in full stops they don't matter. I'll just put a full stop and then I'll put a single space. And what do I want to replace it with? Full stop with one, two, double space. All right. So let's find out. Do we have anything left? Where? See, we have it here. We have it here. We have it here. So I can just click replace or replace all. It will replace in the whole document. So this is another tip. Find and replace is an excellent option to let you do many changes all at the same time. Uh, there's one more I would like to show you because that's what I recently did. Now, if we are talking about referencing, so if there is an at space all with a full stop, okay. Okay, sorry, there's an auto type. So if there's an at and all, okay, without uh, with a full stop, but there is no comma after that. So if I need to put a comma, I would like to write over here at all full stop comma. Sorry. So now please be careful. You, you do not press replace or replace all straight away. First of all, click find next. So it will show you every place where at all is used. As you can see, there is a comma here. I don't need to worry about that. I'll click find next, find next. So I want to search from the beginning. Okay. So in all at alls, if I find the commas, I'll just keep going, clicking on find next. Now here, as you can see, it's just in the beginning of sentence, so it, it should not take. So basically you can use this tool to navigate through the document to look for something, but please understand that whenever you find uh, something to fix, only then you replace like that. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. 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 Going well. Okay because I have actually worked on the documents. This is just to give you an idea how useful find and replace is in the work as well. Thank you very much for watching. Okay. Uh, another thing that we have inside the document is the list of tables and list of figures. Okay. So, uh, which, whichever figures we have, whichever tables we have, we know them. So what we will do is, for example, this is figure two for me. So I'll just uh, quickly go to, for example, control F and try to find how many figures do I have in this document. So, uh, how many figures do I have? Figure two. Do I have another one? Figure one. Okay, figure three. So I have three of them. So I'll go to number one. I'm here. All right. So I'll just click over. Okay. So we'll quickly copy, rather cut, and then insert caption. And over here, put a colon, paste, and okay. This is the second one. I'll again format it quickly. This is, I need this 12, no italics, just bold in the center and black. Okay. So let's, so I'll just click on insert, not insert, sorry, referencing and insert table of figure. When I click this, it asks me uh, which one I would like to do. 
these are the figures the ones i have done these are four options use hyperlink instead of page numbers isn't very useful when you are sending the document but uh, page number and uh, for the sake of formatting that is okay we can modify these things too we can have some options over there if you like to play with that i clicked something i think i should not have okay okay so that is it that's it click okay wow so it comes like this I may not need them in bold, I may need them in bold, it depends on the format you are following, so I can just go ahead and change it. And on the top I can write over here, list of figures along with the page numbers. So the same process is for tables too. Let me quickly do that too. So let's go and find where are our tables, tables, okay sorry, table actually. So that's better. The first table that we have is this one, I'll just cut and uh, delete this part as well okay insert caption now this time i'll choose a table i'm talking about a table not a figure anymore this is the table i wish to have this is number one again the whole thing like i said last time we have to format it manually uh, i think that's probably how it is going to be that's it we are good to go next 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 where are you table mm, okay next is this one we are having we have to cut it delete this part insert caption and choose table put a colon put a space and paste it and then okay it's still here very quickly formatting it and uh, making it black and making it times new roman and putting it in the center we have has to be something like 14 i believe so i will write over here list of tables and uh, i'll just copy the format of this and make it left and after that over here again references insert table of figures and i would like to paste tables now this one i click over here see all the tables that i did six of them are here i would like to select them make them unbold like not bold okay that's it and also you can see the page numbers are written in uh, another font so i can just go ahead and make all of this times new roman as per the requirement so this is it so if if i move this or if i move any of this anywhere uh the the the, the page numbers and the addresses and the locations of those are automatically updated i hope this helps and uh, let's see if we have some more tips